Hello, thanks for stopping by my kitchen again. You are very welcome as always. Today I'm making pea and leek soup. This is a very nutritious and very economical soup. I've worked it out this morning and it's just 24p a portion. So um, I made it about a month ago um, and it made seven portions then, worked out at 24p a portion and that's two ladles per portion. Um, a ladle is 100 millilitres. So let's get started with cutting this huge leek up. <laughs> So we're going to start by taking this out a bit off, just strip that away. In fact, I think we'll take the next one off because that wasn't a whole covering of the leek. That's better. We don't need to cut too much of this off. If you were could just serving it as leek, we don't, um, you would cut all of this off down to the white. But because it's soup, we'll just cut off about halfway there. And all I'm going to do now is slice right down the middle. Nearly to the root end, but not quite, because we want it to stay together for cutting. Leeks are notorious for being dirty. Um, the earth gets in all the leaves, but because this needs to be cut up already, I'm just going to cut it up first. Um, and to my right here, I've got a bowl of water and I'm just going to pop it all in that bowl so all the dirt will come out of it. They're just about a centimetre slices. So we need to go right to the end and then just throw this root bit away. So I'm just going to break these pieces up to make sure they're all separate, these little pieces here. And make sure all the dirt out. Actually, this isn't a very dirty one at all. It's quite clean. That's good. There are a few pieces of mud at the bottom of the bowl, but that's all. Then that's fine. So just take it all out, pop it in a colander, and that will drain off. So next I'm going to put about two or three tablespoons of olive oil into the pan and we'll heat that ready to cook our potatoes. Now this recipe calls for two large potatoes but I haven't got any large potatoes today so I've got a medium and a small which would probably make a large. So I'm going to chop all these up and put them in the olive oil. I want these chopped up relatively small and then they'll take less time to cook. Pop all these potatoes in the pan. Followed by all the leek that we washed earlier. Just give that a good mix round. Everything coated in the olive oil. And this will probably fry for about 10 minutes or so. You'll see um, when all the leek reduces down. It won't be so high up, it'll be down in the saucepan. And that's when it's done. Meanwhile, we will make the stock. So we need 170 millilitres of stock and I just use these vegetarian Bisto gravy granules. I just put two spoons of this in and fill it up to 750 millilitres with boiling water. But of course you can use any stock of your choice. My potatoes and my leeks have been frying for about 15 minutes and you can see how they've reduced, or well, the leeks have reduced down quite considerably. That's how we want it before we put the stock in. But first we're going to season it with some salt. And some pepper. Mm 
Then just pour the stock in and that will simmer for about 10 minutes. So pop the lid on, bring it to the boil and simmer for 10 minutes. My potatoes and leeks have had 10 minutes simmering and I've just got my frozen peas out of the freezer. This is 500 grams of organic frozen green peas. And all I'm going to do is empty them into the calendar. Before I put the peas in, I'm going to check that my potatoes are done. So just bring out a potato and pop a knife through. Yeah, they look done to me, that's good. If they're still a bit hard, then they'll need a little bit longer cooking. But they're all soft, so that's fine. So I'm just going to put the peas in. And the reason why I put them in the colander first is because you can sort them out. There's a black one there. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but I do not want that in my soup. If I just tip them all in, I wouldn't have seen that one. We'll give that a stir around. Put the lid on again, bring it to the boil and simmer for three minutes once it's to the boil. So all we need to do now is blitz it with one of these things. If you haven't got one of these, you can use a glass blender, um, but not a plastic one. It needs to be a glass one. Once blended, give it a little taste um, to see if there's enough salt and put more in if you think it needs more. Also, consistency wise, I like mine nice and creamy, but if it's too thick for you, maybe you've used more potatoes um, and it's too thick, just add a little bit of boiled water at this stage, just to loosen it up a little. Oh, that's just about perfect. As always, the ingredients for this soup are in the description. If you make it, let me know. I hope you like it. Also, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you again next week.